Okay, so I could have actually included this in the previous one, but the video was getting a bit long. I just want to uh, look at table 4.1. Uh, so this is a nice summary, a nice conclusion. The ratio of inertias of the two carts, any two carts, is equal to the inverse of the ratio of their velocity changes. Right? So, what does this mean? If you've got two standard carts, then after they collide, the standard cart change in velocity divided by the standard cart change in velocity will just be 1 because it's a standard cart. If the double collides with a the standard, then the double, remember guys, the double's change will be half of the standard's change because the inertia is larger. It's double's resistance. So if you've got delta V of the double over delta V of the standard, this guy's resistance to change will be less than this guy. So if this is if the if this guy's a double and that of that, then obviously that'll be one to two, right? A half. And if you've got less mass on top divided by the standard, the, the one with a half will have a much larger change in velocity than the standard. So if it's half, it'll be two. Okay, I hope I'm not confusing you. Now let's look at this example. This is a checkpoint 4.4. Verify that delta V unknown X divided by delta V standard X is approximately a third. So what are we saying? That the, the um, so if you're saying delta V unknown divided by delta V standard, if we're looking for that ratio, then we know that this is, then we're looking for effectively the mass of the standard over the mass or the inertia of the standard over the inertia of the unknown. Okay, so here's the standard, there's the unknown. The standard drops its velocity or changes its velocity by roughly, uh, I'm just estimating here, you guys can be more accurate. This is roughly 0.4. And this is about minus 0.2 there. So the standard cart after collision changes velocity from 0.4 to minus 0.2. So delta V of the standard is uh, minus 0.6 meters per second. And delta V of unknown goes from 0 to approximately 0.2. Delta V of the unknown is about 0.2. So uh, if we just consider the magnitudes, then delta V unknown divided by delta V standard is 0.2 over 0.6, which is roughly a third. So that's how we get that. Okay.